I've been fascinated by how prevalent this idea is around the concept that to be successful in life, it's about your education and it's about hard work. I don't buy it. I interviewed hundreds of individuals who are, who are at the, the peak of their career and at the peak of their life. They are crushing it at work with money, but they're also healthy, well, successful, and enjoying life. And none of them, none of them ever credit their educational hard work for how they got there. Rather, as I go deeper with them, what they all talk about is to be able to access certain altered states of mind that some people dismiss as being spiritual. But the fact of the matter is, human beings are not taught how to tap into altered states of awareness to make an impact on the world. And in this masterclass on Mind Valley, on the concept of bending reality, I go deep into that formula. You see, the people who tell you that it's about hard work, that it's about what you know, they are addressing what is the mass of the population who are at level one awareness, but there's a level two, a level three, and a level four. And the higher up you go, the more it has to do with your inner state of being, the more it has to do with being able to access certain altered states that produce the effect as if you weren't able to bend reality. When you read the books of some of the most remarkable people in the world, you find that this phenomenon comes up over and over again. Read Walter Isaacson's story of Steve Jobs. Twice in that book, he referenced Steve Jobs' ability to bend reality. Read the stories of Richard Branson and how he lives his life in a state of flow. So for the longest time, we have taken spirituality out of work. We've taken spirituality out of entrepreneurship. We've dismissed spirituality as being bogus or woo-woo. But the fact of the matter is today, if you want to succeed at what you do and succeed at life at the same time, you gotta tap into a spiritual core. Now, if you can accept any model of reality, why not choose one that suggests that you can literally bend reality with your mind? Think about how powerful that would be. If you find these ideas interesting, I'd love to see you on this masterclass that I'm doing on my life.